Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the third problem of the CSES introductory problems, and that is the problem repetitions. So we're given a DNA sequence, or a string consisting of these characters, A, C, G, and T, and our task is to find the longest repetition in the sequence. So this is a maximum length substring. So let's see, we are given a upper bound of 10 to the 6th, and what we want to do is we want to go through this list, or this string of characters, and find the longest length. So a simple way to do it would be, let's say we keep track of this letter, right? Or the first letter. We go to the first letter, and then when we get to the next letter, we compare it to the last one. If the last one is different from the first one, or the if the last one is different from the one we're at, then we take the action, such as, uh, like uh, figuring out the maximum of this sum and the last maximum and we start the new sum at 1 and then if it's the same like it's at t and t here then we just add 1 to the last sum. So let's start implementing this. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to create a new directory and call it 3 dot repetitions. Okay, and then we're going to make a new use code template, and we're going to call it main, and then let's go. We're going to also uh, get rid of standard in and standard out again, because it's a pretty small uh, sample input. So then let's figure it out. Because it's 10 to the 5th, we have to make a long, long n, and then actually we're not given a uh, n value. We're just given a string value, so we're just going to have to make a string, and then call it str. And then we're going to have to create a value called long long uh, last amount and then uh, we're going to have to make a character called last to compare it to. And then we're going to need to make a or a long long called m to hold the maximum value. And we're actually going to initialize m at 0 and last amount at 0 as well. Okay, so let's do this. So if, or we need to loop through all of them. So we're going to have a long, long index, and then if we go through it, go doing str.size, and actually if we look up, we haven't actually gotten str yet. So if we do str not dot size dot length. And then if we i plus plus, and then now we need to compare it. So if uh, str, and then we take i does not equal last, then what we need to do is set last amount because we're resetting. Or no, we actually need to do uh, we need to find the max. So max of m and last amount, and then also what we need to do is we need to take, um, let's see, we need to uh, last amount equal 1. And then, if it's the same, uh, if str equals that, then all we need to do is just last amount plus plus. And then at the end, we actually need to make sure that we do this because there may be a time when it just equals last amount the entire way through and it always just goes to M. Actually, we need to put this outside the for loop and then all we need to do is just CLM. So, let's see if this works. We press play. We get the input, we copy and paste it in, and then we get one. And that's incorrect. So, and that's actually just because we set it right there. That's not just it, though. We need to figure out why it's... Oh, we're not setting um, last to the current character. So that's what we need to do. And then, now when we run it, and then paste it, we get 3, which is, hopefully, an indicator that we're on the right track. So we go to statistics, or no, submit, and then just grab this file, put it in, and submit. 
and we see that we do indeed get an accepted answer. So if you like that video, make sure you like, if you disliked it, dislike, and make sure you subscribe. Comment down below if you have a better solution. I might make a video on it. And see you guys later.